Number 37. Complete and balance each of the following half reactions, which are steps two through five in our half reaction method. So we have letter H here. So we have Cl minus, right, and that's aqueous, and that's going to yield ClO3 minus aqueous, and we're doing this all in a basic solution. So this is our first basic solution question to balancing redox reactions, and I wrote the criteria that we need to balance something in a basic solution, right? Now, let's just check it out, right? In order to balance the basic solution, the first thing is that you need to get the acidic answer. Oh boy, whoop. You need to get the acidic answer. Yikes. So that's the whole thing with basic solutions, right? You always have to get the acidic answer first, and then you can just manipulate to get the basic solution. Okay, well, we've done tons of problems in which we got the acidic solution answer. Here are all of the lit, here are all of the, the numbers to get to a balancing a redox reaction in an acidic solution. But since this is already a half reaction, we only have to do steps two through five. So we don't have to do the first step because that's to break it into the half reactions and we don't have to do that. So this is all good. So I'm gonna put a check here. Now let's go to number two. We have to balance all elements except hydrogen and oxygen. So I'm not gonna to touch this oxygen here, right? Because I can't touch that in this step. I have to balance all the other elements. So let's see. Well, I have a chlorine on the left side and I have a chlorine on the right side, right? I have one chlorine here and I have one chlorine here. So it's balanced, right? One chlorine on the reactant side, one chlorine on the product side. It's already balanced. So we don't have to do anything. So I can just skip this step. I saw if I could do it, eh, it's already balanced, so I just skip over it. Now the third step is we need to balance oxygen by adding H2O. And here's a little trick, I'll write it down here. If you need to add one oxygen, you're going to add one H2O. So for every one oxygen that you need, you need to add one H2O, because there's only one oxygen in H2O. So if you need two oxygens, you'll add two H2Os. Three oxygens, three H2Os. Now let's see. I don't have any oxygen on this side, right? But I have oxygen here, and how many do I have? Yeah, I got three of them, right? So I have three oxygen on this side. I have no oxygens on this side. I have to add it in terms of water, right? H2O. How many waters? Yeah, three H2Os, right? And that checks out the the oxygen component. So that part's done. Now we got to move on to the next one. I have to balance hydrogen by adding H plus. So same thing as before, if I need one hydrogen, I will add one H plus. So if I need two hydrogens, I'll add two H pluses to the side that needs it. So let's see on this side. Well, I have a hydrogen here, right? H2, but now I have three, right? So how many total hydrogens do I have? Oh, three times two is six. I have six hydrogens here. And on my product side, I have no hydrogens. So it seems like I have to add it on this side and I have to add six of them. So six H plus. And now my hydrogens are balanced. So this gets checked out. We're at the last step here, right? Because we only go up to step five. We just need to balance those electrons or balance the charges. In order to balance the charges, you're going to add electrons, which are E negative, remember electrons are negative, to always the more positive side. So the first thing we gotta figure out is which side is more positive. What I like to do is I just like to break it down, right? And I like to separate the reactant from the product. I like to make this, this nice little, you know, border. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the overall charge of the reactants. I'm gonna find the overall charge of the products and see the, which one is more positive and add electrons to that side. Now you don't have to find the individual charges. We're only just looking in the upper right-hand corner here. So let's just go from left to right. Now for water, 
right? I don't see a charge in the upper right-hand corner, like I see it in here. So if you don't see a charge, what number is it? It's not positive, and it's not negative. It's neutral, so zero. Doesn't matter that I have three of these, right? Three times zero, and that's what you do in general. You would multiply these, but three times zero is zero. Now coming over here, I see that I have a negative charge, right? And if it's just a negative or just a positive, it's always a one, right? So this would be a negative one. And I only have one chlorine, there's no number here. So I have a negative one. And just like these compounds are coming together, you would add the charges as well. So zero plus a negative one is a overall negative one charge on my reactant side. Now we got to do the same thing for the product side. So I see I have a charge here. I just see a negative, right? Negative here. So negative one. I have one of them, right? I don't see a coefficient. So I have a negative one here. Let's do this. I see that I have a positive in the upper right-hand corner. So that means a plus one, but there's six of them. So you have to multiply. Six times a plus one is really a plus six. And now I just add the two charges together. Negative one plus positive six, right? Or negative one plus six or six minus one is the same thing as a plus five. Okay. And I like to put the positives, you know, just to, you know, make it known to me that, yeah, this is a plus five. Okay. Now we're going to add those electrons to the more positive side. So out of the overall charge of a negative one or a plus five, which one is more positive? Yeah, totally. On a number line, the plus five is more positive. So I know I'm going to add the electrons on this side, the product side. But now the question is, how many? Am I going to add one electron? Am I going to add two, three? The answer always lies in you want to take your positive and go down to your negative. So you add as many electrons as it takes to bunny hop on a number line to go from five to negative one. Now think about it, right? Five to negative one, how many, how many numbers is that away on a number line? It's six, right? I have to go five to get to zero, and then I got to go that extra one to get to negative one. So there's six bunny hops or six jumps to go from a five to a negative one. And that's how many electrons that I will add six of them. Now that's the end for the acidic solution. So if they asked you for acidic solution for this, this would be your answer. However, we want it in a basic solution, right? They said basic. So now we're down over here, right? The first thing to getting the basic solution is you have to get the acidic solution answer. So we did that already. Now here comes something new. You're going to add as many OH minuses as you have H pluses. So I have to go back and see what, how many H pluses I have. So maybe if I can just clean this up a little bit, just so that we don't have all this crazy stuff going on. I'm going to get rid of the charges because we don't need that anymore. All right. We already added the electrons just to make this nice and neat. I'm going to get rid of this, right? Because it was a zero charge. Um, but everything else looks nice here. Okay. So now I look through each one and I see where's the H plus. Oh, it's right here. You need to add as many OH minuses as you have H plus to both sides. You got to be fair. So I have six H pluses here. So I would add six OH minuses to both sides. If you added the six OH minuses here, you got to add it on the other side. So now this turns into a six OH minus. Okay. That's that step. So that's done. And notice how I wrote this underneath the H plus. I didn't write it all the way over here. There's a reason for that. So when you're adding the H pluses or when you're adding the OH minuses, just write them underneath the H pluses. The last thing you have to do is simplify. You want to cancel out the like H2Os. And here's the reason why. Remember when H plus comes in contact with OH minus H plus plus OH minus, it will always yield water. So these 
I have H plus and I have OH minus, right? They're on the same side. They're coming in contact to each other. So H plus plus OH minus will give me water. And just know that it's a one to one ratio. So if I had one H plus and I had one OH minus, I get one H2O. If I have two H pluses and two OH minuses, I get two H2Os. In this case, I have six H plus and six OH minus. So how many waters actually are here? That's right, six H2O. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of the H plus and the OH minus and just write out, I have plus six H2O. Now I just cancel out on both sides. Do you see how I have six H2O now on this side? And I have three H2Os on my reactant side. You can simplify them by subtraction. If you have three H2Os, right, and you have six H2Os, which number is going to be in excess? This side, right? How many left over would you had? Just do subtraction. If I used all of this six, oh, sorry, if I used all these three H2Os, that would mean minus three H2O on this side. And six minus three is three. So I'm, go I'm going to erase the, let's see, I'm gonna erase the six, turn it into a three. And that means that I can get rid of these three H2O. I'm just simplifying. And now I can just pull this in, right? And just make it nice and neat. And that would be the final answer. I have six OH minuses plus Cl minus will yield ClO3 minus plus three H2O plus six electrons. And that is your final answer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully this helped. Basic is a little bit more challenging because you have to get the acidic answer first and then you do the extra steps. So it's just like a couple extra steps in the end. But I know you guys got this. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Hopefully this helped. If it did, click the like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, do all those nice things. And yeah, I hope you're doing great on your tests and quizzes and your homeworks. And I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.